Welcome to Bleed It Outdoors in the first part of Bleeding Out Africa. Welcome to Bleed It Outdoors, and this is the first part of Bleeding Out Africa. It was pretty crazy that John and I both had the opportunity to travel to Africa this past summer and do some amazing things and shoot some amazing animals. And I really uh, had the opportunity through archery. I made the NASP 2013 NASP All-American team, and the international competition was in South Africa. So, you know, we stayed a whole week there. We shot a bunch, and we actually, USA brought home the gold medal, and it was just a really great experience. After the tournament, John DeMond came and picked up my dad and I, and we were headed over to the hunting lodge. We arrived at the hunting lodge around 4 o'clock, so we were able to put in a quick afternoon hunt. We didn't see anything we wanted to shoot, but it was just a really good taste of what African hunting is really like. First morning rolled around, and we headed out to the blinds before sunrise. afternoon hunt rolled around in the morning after that and we just weren't having any luck at what we were wanting to shoot so me and my dad decided to split up and on the third afternoon I had a great chance at a wildebeest but there's the shot opportunity wasn't great the shoulder was in the way and I figured they were eating there and they would just wait but the wind swirled around caught her scent and they just took off and that was the end of that hunt. At this point my dad and my coach both shot a few animals and I was the one still slacking behind. Our third and final afternoon rolled around and I was having withdrawals from shooting anything. An hour passed by, an hour and a half passed by and we had a few little animals come in, monkeys were on the bait. And out of the corner of my guide's eye, he said there was an Apollo coming, so I grabbed my bow and there was already two, two smaller kudus on the bait, so I had to make sure turn the camera on slowly and get out everything set up. The Impala came from our left but it never came up to the bait and this was the one day where I actually forgot my rangefinder and I had to guess the yardage so I drew back when I thought it was about at 24 yards but as I was pulling back I, I clicked something or it heard something in the blind and it jumped up a little bit right away and I just put my 30 pin right on it. squeezed the trigger and uh, zipped it right through both of the lungs and it took off. About a half hour before sunrise, the truck came to pick us up. My dad and my coach were there to congratulate me. Able to get some good pictures in, get it loaded up in the truck and headed out just before sunset. And we still had one morning hunt, so I was super excited. Last morning I went to a hide that I haven't been to, but my coach went to the first night and had good luck. So I was really had high hopes. Activity was starting to happen really early in the morning, about a half hour to 45 minutes after sitting there. We had a whole herd of Impala come in, and there was one mature buck that we definitely wanted to shoot.
Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to stop by next Friday on our YouTube channel to check out part two of Bleeding Out Africa.